everyone, my name is Lindsay, and today we're going to walk through how you can win back time for your marketing operations team. There are so many ways you can win back time for your team, like leveraging the right technology for your organization. But today, we're going to focus on effective project management. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel or follow Perkito if you're watching on LinkedIn. This way, you won't miss out on opportunities to level up your months. This is one of just several 10-minute strategy videos we are producing, so please stay tuned for more videos. And when you're done watching, let us know what resonated with you. This way we can continue to produce valuable content. And if you stay tuned until the end, I'll share two opportunities with you. A little bit about me. I'm a digital content specialist here at Perkito. I have five years of experience in the marketing industry and have been creating SEO-driven content for B2B and B2C brands since 2016. So what gives me the credentials to speak about time management? It comes from Perkito's work in more than 1,500 Marketo instances, and all this time for nearly 10 years, managing our team down to the 15-minute increment. As a billable MOPS consultancy, we are always considering the most efficient approach and aligning the right mix of talent and technology for tackling a client's project. We have a robust team of project managers. They're the core of our operations. So what is project management and why is it important for winning back time? Project management is the process of ensuring the solution design is delivered on time, on budget, and according to the predefined technical requirements. Your PM will focus on tasks, activities, timelines, resources, and finally, budgets. So let me ask you, does your MOPS team include a dedicated project manager? If not, this is a low hanging fruit to start winning back time for your team. If you answered yes, then ask yourself this, is your project manager or PM team effective? High performing project managers are completing projects accurately, on time, and on budget. Plus, they are aligning stakeholders and ensuring proper documentation is in place. Here are four signs of poor project management. Number one, misalignment with the team, stakeholders, and business requirements. Number two, flawed design execution. Number three, missed implementation deadlines. And number four, over budget. 67% of projects fail when project management is undervalued and lackluster outcomes are costly. Ultimately, project management is structured to keep everyone aligned with the direction, accountable to the project success, and finally, on track with the defined milestones and objectives. Your goal with project management is to create repeatable processes and predictable outcomes. By effectively managing your project and the people impacted by your project, you will accomplish your objectives and attain more value from Marketo faster. One framework for project management is the project management body of knowledge. This defines five distinct and different phases to a project's life cycle. Number one, initiating. Number two, planning. Number three, executing. Number four, controlling and number five, closing. Over the years, we have noticed that these phases can be found in every project, regardless of their nature, industry, or even type. Properly identifying the tasks to be done in each phase can greatly increase the success rate of your efforts and of course, win back time. Now, let's talk about the initiation phase. Everything must have a beginning. In order to get started on the right foot, here are a few key questions to answer when initiating any project. Number one, what am I trying to accomplish? Number two, who am I doing this for? And number three, who will be participating? By answering these three questions, you will find yourself with a scope, key stakeholders, and a team. But what are you trying to achieve exactly? Be sure to know what your goal is and keep your eye on it. The next phase is planning. We know what we want to do, and we know who will be working with us to do it. But how will we be doing this? We have a goal, and the road from A to B is long, and the paths are numerous. In any project, it's helpful to create a work breakdown structure. 
This will help you identify the large tasks at hand first. Then, once you've identified your main activities, break each of these into a smaller task. Break this down into as many levels as needed. Finally, once you're done breaking down every activity, you should have your project mapped into a tree-like structure. This will have your main objective at the top, large activities below, and then this in turn will split down into smaller tasks. Each box should have a responsible team member and a target delivery date. Successful completion in this phase will ensure that you don't forget a step along the way and enable you to track the progress of your project as the small work packages become completed. You should also plan to measure the success of your project during its life cycle and post delivery. Make sure that a few people, such as a stakeholder or a team member, validate your overall plan. It's easy to forget a step or to leave out an important element that should figure into the plan. Now you're finally ready to execute. It's time to get the ball rolling. Schedule each small work package with the team members and make sure to follow the progression of each package. As a project manager, it will be important to constantly keep your ear to the ground. Some tasks handled by one team member could impact another. You won't want to lose sight of the project here. The control phase is key here. The work has started, but you have to ask yourself, is it going in the right direction? Does everyone understand the objectives and what their piece of the project entails? Are we on target? Are we respecting our budget? Control should be exercised throughout the entire life cycle of your project. This will ensure that you reach your objectives over time and give you a chance to realign if you see that you're not on target. It's also important to keep the key stakeholders in the loop. After all, they're invested. They'll want to see the results. Once your execution phase is completed, you will have reached the end of your project and hopefully you will have successfully controlled it each step of the way. And finally, the closing phase. Everything must come to an end. It's time to wrap it up here. Is everything you need in place? Has everyone completed their share of the work? Have you validated the results with the stakeholders in order to get their sign off? If you answered yes to these questions, then congratulations. You successfully managed a MOPS project. Now you can move on to the next project in your backlog. These are just five simple phases that can greatly increase your success rate and win back time for your team. You'll even find that managing your marketing automation like a project can make your life a little easier and a lot more efficient. Imagine any of your MOPS projects without a defined project manager. You can see how much time would be lost. Before we go, our special offer. If you've been frustrated with the transparency or outcomes of working with another Marketo partner, we invite you to book an introductory call with us. Let us demonstrate how we're different and the results we can achieve together. Just visit Percuto.com. All you have to do is click on Talk to Us or send us a chat message. Also, I'd like to invite you to receive more content like this. We will share new strategy videos as they're released from different team members and SMEs at Percuto, all less than 10 minutes. I've included the link to sign up in the comments. Thank you so much for your time, and please feel free to reach out with any questions.